Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to make this video because there's a big change that has happened to my stock market portfolio, which I'm going to show you right now. And so here is a screenshot I took today of my stock market portfolio from my Charles Schwab account. And these are all my positions listed by percentage of account. And as you can see, the top holding is no longer Bank OZK, it is now Cumulus Media CMLS. So for months now on this channel, I've been saying that Bank OZK is my largest position, and I can't say that anymore because now Cumulus Media has surpassed Bank OZK in terms of position sizing in my account. And obviously this wasn't a huge surprise to me because when I bought Cumulus Media, back when it was under $4 a share, I was expecting the price to increase four to five times. And if that happened, I knew that eventually Cumulus was going to overtake my bank OZK position. And that is what we've seen now. The gain that I've had on this position is crazy, 165%. And I think I first bought in in April. So just over half a year, and I'm up 165% on the position. After this, we're gonna take a look at Cumulus and why it's been doing so well. But just wanted to show you how these positions look in my portfolio. Now in terms of Bank OZK, that's not doing bad either, up 14% in total on, on the position. I've been holding this one for just over a year. And so 14% gain plus all the dividends I've been collecting, not a bad return at all. Again, I still am expecting a lot of upside from Bank OZK in the future, but going forward, I am expecting Cumulus to still be outperforming just based on the valuation that the company is still trading at, even though I'm already up over 100%. Now in my account, you might notice a new position that I haven't talked about in my channel. This is a position I just bought into recently and I'm planning on making this a pretty substantial position. So I'm going to make a video on this stock at some point. If you want me to drop it in the next few days, leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get that video out as soon as possible. So now let's take a look at some of the specific stocks in my portfolio. Okay, so here we have pulled up Cumulus Media and the thing to notice is that in the month of November, Cumulus Media went absolutely crazy. They almost doubled just in the month of November. They were sitting at under $6 and now they are over $9. And we've seen a number of green days in a row from Cumulus. This is like six, seven, eight green days in a row. And again, today Cumulus is up over 5%. So a few things to touch on. First, why is this happening now? I think Cumulus Media is obviously undervalued, but they needed some sort of catalyst to get the stock price moving again. And the recent news of the vaccine that's come out has helped all stay at home stocks and Cumulus definitely falls into that bucket. In addition, Cumulus is going to be making a lot of money from political ads. They already set a record in Q3. They're gonna be making even more in Q4. And now with the Senate runoffs in Georgia where Cumulus has a large media presence, they are going to be getting a lot of that ad revenue as well which is going to help them even further. Now, obviously this run-up won't last forever. Now, I'm not usually a fan of these huge spikes where you see five, six, seven, eight green days in a row. Um, a similar thing happened at the beginning of June and you can see that went nowhere. It, we shot up for a few days, trapped a bunch of people and then it just came crashing back down to where it was. So that may or may not happen this time as well, I don't know. But for anyone interested in starting a position right now, I don't know if this is necessarily the best time to be buying and I am expecting a pullback some, at some point in the future. Now, with that being said, on valuation, the stock is still undervalued. I'm still expecting at least a double from these prices. Um, you know, $18 was my original price target for the stock. And so I do still think there is a lot of upside there. Now, technically speaking, I think this breakout looks a lot healthier than the one we saw in June. In June, it was just a huge spike, multiple gaps up, and that happened with a lot of stocks in the market. So probably more of a short squeeze than anything. And then we saw that came back down. Now we've seen the stock consolidating for months. We see the 200 day moving average finally come down to meet the stock price. And now we're at a point where the 20 day and 50 day moving averages are above the 200 day, which is what you wanna see in a stock on an uptrend. So I think this may be the point where we start to see the stock trending up. Obviously not going to go straight up to $18. We're gonna see pullbacks, but I think this might be the point where we see prices of under $5 in the past. So that's what I have to say for Cumulus. Obviously, I hope they fall back down to $6 or $5 so I can pick up some more shares. I don't know if they're going to. If the market keeps going up, it might not get to a point where I could buy some more shares. Now, in terms of if I'm selling any of the stock soon, um, I'm not planning on selling. However, if we do keep going up in a straight line like this, I will probably take some off the table because the higher a stock just goes straight up, the greater the chance of a significant pullback. So I haven't sold any yet and I'm not planning on it. But if we did see these continued massive green days up to $12 a share or more, at that point, I would start thinking about taking some off the table, maybe like 20% of the entire position, just trimming a little bit because at that point, I think we would be very overextended and ready for a pullback in the stock. Now, in terms of looking at my second largest position, Bank OZK has also been performing very well, as has the entire financial sector. 
We are now at over $28 and we are at pretty much the same high that we saw back in June. So we'll have to wait and see, you know, if this could potentially be a double top or we could break through this and keep moving higher. Again, I don't really know what's going to happen in the short term, but longer term, I am confident that Banco ZK will get to you know, 50, 55, $60 a share and potentially more. Now, I think something to take a look at big picture is how the stock market has been performing. So on this screen, I have two charts. Uh, the first one is just the S&P 500. And then the red line is the RSP, which is the equal weighted S&P 500 index. So it's the same stocks as the S&P, except every stock has an equal weighting as opposed to the S&P, which is market cap weighted. Obviously, the big tech stocks make up the majority of the index. And so what's been happening is that even though we've seen the S&P 500 index outperforming the equal weighted S&P, that gives more of an allocation towards things like financials, energy stocks, industrials, we're now starting to see this flip. So if you measure this from the beginning of this year, obviously normal S&P is outperforming. However, an interesting thing happens once you go closer. Since May, equal weighted S&P is outperforming the normal S&P 500. And if we go even more, specifically toward when the news of the vaccine came out, you can see just how large the outperformance has been, where even though the normal S&P is up 4%, the equal weighted S&P is up over 8%. So the equal weighted index is greatly outperforming the S&P 500. And this makes sense, obviously, if you think about it, with news of the vaccine. Before the vaccine news, it was the stay-at-home stocks that were outperforming. And now that we have news of a vaccine, obviously the expectation is that more people will be getting out, getting back to work. And so you're going to see those stocks start to outperform. So if we take a look at one month performance, what stocks have been doing the best in the past month, it is energy stocks, financial stocks, and industrials. Basically the three sectors that were performing the worst earlier this year. And if you take a look at the three month performance, even though they're all green, technology is actually the worst, which is a huge shift from when technology was the best performer. So we're starting to see a bit of a shift and this has been going on for a number of months now. And I'm someone who thinks it will continue. I think tech stocks have run up way too much they are way overextended and overvalued. And so I think a lot of that money is going to start going into some of these more undervalued names in the energy sector and financial sector, since they would potentially make for a better investment. So that's it for this video. Just want to make a quick update on my portfolio. And again, leave a comment down below if you want me to make a video on my new position, which I am planning on building into a pretty sizable position in my portfolio. So if you like this video, hit the like button to help out the channel. Subscribe if this is your first time here, and I'll see you on the next video.